hello and welcome in this series i'm going to give you an introduction on coding and the platforms or the softwares that we are going to use to code in scratch in simple words coding means giving instructions to the computer so that the computer should do our work if we look at coding, it is broadly divided into two categories. One is block based and second is text based. For block based coding, I want you to follow my mouse pointer on the screen on the left hand side. You can see many instructions are there which are color coded with different colors. These are the instructions given to us in block based coding and we have to simply drag and drop the instructions into the script area and join them together and the computer will work for us like here if we connect the blocks so this is a program that we have written in block based coding maximize the game stage click on the green flag to begin it is asking us to enter a number let's say 10 press enter from the keyboard it says this is a positive number so this was block based coding coming to the second category text-based coding here you can see on the screen this is an example from text-based coding we have written a program basically we have given instructions by typing through the keyboard we need to remember what instructions will be used for what purpose if i click on run this is how the output will be asking us to enter the length of the rectangle for example 10 press enter or the breadth of the rectangle say 5 press enter so it is giving us the output as area is 50 square units if we talk about block based coding some of the examples are scratch mobile app development and more similarly for text based coding some of the examples are qbasic small basic c c++ python and more moving ahead there is modes of coding that means how do we write the code in which manner so there are two modes one is offline and one is online if you talk about offline mode step number one is to connect to the internet step number two is to download the software step number three is to work on the software without internet for online mode step number one will be the same connect to the internet step number two will be open your web browser and go to the website that we wish to write code at now here we need to remember that when we are working on the browser we need the internet connection throughout till we have completed our work now in this example that we have done for block based coding so this we have done on the software called scratch which is already downloaded in my laptop similarly in the second example that we have covered on text based coding so this is a program that we have written again on a software for python which is downloaded in my laptop so these both are example of working of offline mode now let's take an example of working online so here you can see that i have opened my web browser and this is the website that I am going at. This is Replit. This is a platform which allows us to work online on the web browsers. Here you can see many languages are there in which we can write the code. So for example, we have written the code in Python. This is the code that we have written, basically the instructions that we have given. Once you click on the run button, it will be asking you to enter the length of the rectangle. For example, I say 10 and press enter then breadth say 5 press enter and it is giving you the output as area is 50 square units so this is an example of working online using the web browsers so here we need to remember that when we are working online we need the internet connection throughout till we finish our work one of the advantage of working online is that whatever work we have done that will be saved on the cloud and we can access it from any location of in the world now here we are talking about cloud that our work will be saved on the cloud you need to remember that it does not mean these clouds 
cloud basically means online storage provided to the users where the users can save their work just like we save it in our mobile phones and the computers now here you need to remember when you are working online so whichever platform you are working upon like replit that i have given you an example for you need to remember the login details of your account like the username and password using those details you can enter into your account and access your work from anywhere either from your computer or any other computer also in this particular series i will be showing you how to work on offline mode i'll be using two softwares one is scratch from mit and second is pictoblocks now let's take a look on the softwares how do they look like on my desktop i want you to follow my mouse pointer on the left hand side you can see two softwares are there one is scratch 3 3 is the version of the software and second is pictoblocks in order to open it you can double click on this or you can right click and click on the first option open once you do that your software will open on the screen like this the screen which is visible to us on this desktop this is called the user interface if i click on this button it will maximize and the screen will fit to the entire computer screen on the left hand side you can see many instructions are there which are you know different color coded so that it would be easy for us to remember which instruction is to be found in which particular category at the bottom of this there are certain extensions you can see that we can add these extensions into our projects and activities to make them fun and more uh, interactive interesting on the right hand side you can see there is a sprites library many number of sprites or characters are available to us that we can add in our projects and activities to make them more beautiful likewise many backdrops are there that we can add according to our requirement so this was the first platform that we are going to use while writing the codes in scratch likewise this is the second platform pictoblocks right click on this and click on the first option open it will open for you on your desktop like this now here you can see that it is providing us the similar interface as was with the scratch software on the left hand side same instructions are there with different color coded schemes at the bottom there are extensions here you can see many more instructions you know extensions are there like face detection machine learning artificial intelligence internet of things and many more so it would be a fun learning throughout on the sprites library if we look at more number of sprites are available on this platform as compared to the previous one likewise for the backdrops more number of backdrops are given to us with this particular platform so this was basically an introduction of the platforms that we are going to use for writing codes in scratch in the further videos i'll be telling you how to download and install the softwares in the computer so if you want to learn more stay connected we are going to dive deep into this it's going to be a fun and exciting journey see you in the next video